Hi everyone, welcome back. We're gonna do another foundation wear test today. And today I'm gonna be doing one with the Kosas BB Burst. This is pretty new. I have the shade 22 Medium Neutral Olive. I try to get neutral olive shades when they're available. So I was really excited about this one. And this, sorry, I know I'm looking like very cute with my wet hair in a towel and that's just gonna stay how it is because I'm not in the mood to dry. This is $38. I bought mine off the Kosas website. It is available at Sephora. There are 24 shades. This is, they call it a tinted gel cream and it's supposed to be very hydrating. It has a water base, which is really important to note. It's their new response to having discontinued their tinted oil. And I think that's really interesting because their tinted oil was a really unique product because it truly was just like an oil with pigment in suspension. And it was kind of finicky because with it being an oil, it would separate over the wrong skincare products and it really preferred to not have a lot underneath it and the BB Burst is water-based but it's still kind of the same thing in that in my experience so far it can be kind of picky about what's underneath it. Thankfully for me most of my skincare is already fairly water-based. I don't use a lot of stuff with silicones in it. It's just kind of like what my skin likes is you know thin hydrating layers and I don't really I'm not gonna say I don't need like smoothing and blurring. It's just never a high priority for me because I feel like where I need it, those products don't actually do me many favors. So I've never really found something that made it worth it. Hi, I have a snuggly cat in my lap. And this, they say that it's got copper peptides, which is supposed to be for firming and plumping. It also, if you actually use a copper peptide, like skincare serum, it's meant to help with like healing of spots and stuff like that. Zinc, sodium PCA. So all of that's like hydration ingredients. Now, this is not my first time using it and I've had mixed experiences with it so far. So it is very light coverage. When it looks good, it looks really good, but I've also already had experiences with it where I tried to apply it with a sponge and I don't know if I was trying to build it up too much. I don't exactly know what that problem was, but it just kind of lifted patches of it right back up. That wasn't my favorite and so I have had it do that I have had it pick up on texture but then I've also had it look really good so today is gonna be a little a little bit of a gamble because I haven't figured out what exactly is the difference in those experiences the brand recommends applying it with fingers I give you a little swatch maybe I can't see Oh, that was the tiniest swatch in the world, but it is there. Because they're sheer, I think the shades are kind of flexible, so if you don't know, you know, what shade is going to be your best match, you probably don't have to worry about it as long as you get close. This is one pump. It is pretty thick, as you can see. It's really holds it. Cypress! You can see, pretty thick. Doesn't really go anywhere. Holds its shape when you pump it out. We're going to do one side with fingers and hope for the best. And I do also think it's one of those products where less is the answer. But do you see? So today, it doesn't really want to sit in my skin very well. Which might be my sunscreen, I guess. Okay, this is frustrating immediately. Because I thought I had it figured out. I know, I know I said that I like didn't and I, it's because I will never ever say that I know I'm 100. Well, that's not true. There's always room to be wrong, basically, but this is more wrong than I expected to be. I'm gonna go in with a sponge. It is damp, but like pretty wrung out. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, I really don't wanna have to redo my skincare, but this looks like trash. I guess you can see what I mean, because like right here on my chin, it's picking up on texture so for something that's like supposed to be super hydrating you would think it wouldn't do that um, because it should moisturize texture if your texture is like dry skin based texture so now what I'm going to do is something that I don't want to do but I'm gonna take off and I even let like I put on sunscreen went downstairs had a bagel like it's set in. So what we're gonna do is take this off. I wanna see if I can get this to look good on this side. And then we're gonna also mess with the bad side. 
and let that tell its own story. So the road glazing milk. A lot of folks that I've seen review this so far, they talk about like how hydrating it is for them. And maybe this is just what I'm seeing where it interacts and it when it does interact like that, it just will pick up on texture. But I'm, generally speaking, have not seen it be hydrating enough that I don't want to put all my hydrating skincare underneath it. I have very dry skin, so keep that in mind, but it's still... So now this is just that glazing milk. And I'm gonna go in again and we'll see what this does. And you can see it's not doing quite as much of that same weird like separation and settling thing as it did on this side i guess i'm glad it did that but i'm mad because i don't want to have bad makeup today and it seems like that's what's gonna happen so that's how it's supposed to look and this is how it can look so do you see how much like less hydrated that side looks and it just like wants to pick up on texture. It doesn't really want to spread well. It also, when it spreads well, this looks like my shade. When it doesn't, it doesn't because that pigment just like separates. So that's one of the things that I just think is kind of interesting because like I said, that tinted oil that they had before was really finicky as far as like what you could put under it. And so is this. And I think the hardest part is that I, like I like to wear sunscreen every day under everything and so for it to be so finicky about what sunscreens I can wear it with that is like the most annoying thing and I have the I have like little samples of the Kosas sunscreen um which is in its own way finicky and I don't know I haven't tried them together yet because I generally don't enjoy the experience of using that sunscreen so now I'm gonna do another pump and I'm gonna just spread it a little on my forehead and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge so we can see how that does yeah and so I do think it looks slightly better with fingers but it you can use a sponge as long as your skincare underneath it is fine and you can also use a brush so I'm gonna do like the center of my face with a brush just because I kind of also, I sort of hate putting foundation on my fingers. I don't like that feeling. I understand that it's actually usually the best way, but I don't prefer it. Also, if you notice at all how bad my nails look right now, they're in distress. And I don't want to put polish over them because of how distressed they are. So, ignore it. Thanks. I'm gonna leave this side, even though I don't think it looks as good. It is settling out a little bit, so it doesn't look quite as bad. You can see that's kind of what it does. In my experience, it doesn't really build up well past this point, so it is a very sheer foundation skin tint, really, skin tint. And then this, and I also wouldn't really call it a, like, it's weird that they call it a B, like BB burst because it doesn't really resemble a BB cream at all. Those are usually, I mean, I guess it's kind of thick in texture, but those are usually even thicker still, and they usually give you more, I don't know, I don't think this really makes my skin look that good, is kind of what I'm trying to say. It doesn't look bad, but I'm not like, Ooh, great, I look so fresh and hydrated. I don't know, maybe you disagree, I just don't think it does a ton, and maybe that's also because, for me in particular, like, my redness still shows through, and that's usually, like, what will drive me nuts about my face, is that redness. I'm gonna go in with the Kosas concealer. I'm saying that disappointed because this has also been, this is my third tube of it, and this is the first time this has felt finicky to me, which I don't understand at all. It's been like, obviously I repurchased it. I bought one, I used it all the way up. I bought a second one, I used it about halfway up, and then my movers threw it away from me. And then this one I actually did not pay for because I went to a Kosas event and you got like shade match and a free concealer so i'm using the shade 5.50 i used to use 3.20 but i found that it was too light and again i try to find olive shades when i can especially like having moved to southern california i tan really easy so i just think that uh, i'm trying to find shades that are a little bit more 
resembling my summer shade. And so I thought that this would be a better concealer. And I like this concealer, especially as like a, like I've used this concealer kind of all over my face before, instead of using a foundation. I thought this would be a better shade. And I'm probably gonna add this in more places just to even out that redness. There is an alarming amount of cat hair on my face and I can feel it all. I'm gonna cover up some of this, my nose and my chin. The Kosas concealer is like a medium coverage. So you can see it just kind of tones down that redness for me. I don't know, in combination, these two things um, are fine. You know, I think that because I'm looking for just a little bit more of that like coverage, redness, you know, redness correction. And I wonder, like I have a green color corrector, but I just don't know. I haven't looked at the formula to see how well I think it would go underneath. And if I'm trying to use something that's like skin tint, this like coverage, you know, just to look a little fresher, but not necessarily like made up, I don't want to have to mess with everything I own and have to redo my makeup to be like, oh, it didn't like the formula of that color corrector. Now I have to take it off and start over. I don't really like the idea of that. I think that looks fine. It does look fine. When it works well, it looks good. It doesn't look great. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite even for like a dewy complexion. I have things I like better for that that give me more glow, more coverage. I don't know. I'm going to very gently powder with the Kosas powder, which I like the Kosas powder a lot because it just takes away a little bit of shine, but not a lot. And it doesn't, doesn't really ever make me look dry. So I'm just taking shine away where I don't want it. So then the next challenge is finding what to use on top of such a finicky foundation. So I'm making some guesses. These are all brand new guesses. It dries down fairly well. It doesn't stay like super tacky. It's less tacky on this side, more tacky on this side. Um, but I'm gonna use this Clinique. It's like a bronzing stain. What is it called? The Sunkissed Face Gelée. It's kind of weird. I kind of like it. This was another thing that the movers threw away from me, but then Ulta Points brought it back into my life. God bless Ulta Points. That's what it looks like. It's a very interesting product. And I don't know if it's actually a stain, but that's kind of how it feels, I guess, because it is just such a thin, watery formula, which is why I thought it would pair well with the Kosas without being, not messing anything up, even though right now it's looking really red. I feel like it doesn't normally look that red on me, but whatever. See, that blends out like very nicely, very quickly. It looks really natural. I think I'm tapping too much right there. And it, you can see how it's like building that like stain ring on my hand. And I'm just going in with a little at a time because I don't want to overdo it. And I'm prone to overdoing a lot of cheek products because I think they're fun to put on. And it just it gets worse and worse. You'd think I'd learn a lesson, but I don't. So I'm gonna just put a little That actually did work really well with it. I don't think it changed any the texture or anything like that. For blush, I'm gonna go in with a Finding Ferdinand blush. This is the shade, Ap nope, High Noon. It's part of the khaki collection. This is the like medium cool toned one. So I'm gonna try that. Even though now I'm like, is that what I want? Sure. I'm using the same brush as I used just with the bronzer, I wiped it off. I think that looks nice. So we moved to Southern California and the weather here is decidedly more moderate than where we were from in Washington. Even the Washington weather is pretty moderate. It's gotten less so. The winters are more wintry and the summers are more summery. But anyway, we moved down here end of November and so we had a very light winter compared to what we would have had it's still making me a baby i'm like it's only 60 degrees outside i have to wear a coat meanwhile at home 60 
in Washington, 60 degrees would have been non-coat weather. So it's very interesting how quickly my body has been like, no, mild, lightly warm weather only. It happened so fast. I thought I was stronger than that, but I'm not. And I've lived in colder places. I've also lived in hotter places. Anyway. Okay, and so highlight, I'm, this is an old product. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Skin Highlighting Stick. It still smells really good. I just like this and I don't use it enough. And I thought maybe it would, taps on really well. It's less balmy than a lot of stick highlighters. And I just kind of wanted to see how it would play with this, but also wanted to use it because I do really like this product and I don't use it that much. I'm gonna look in my mirror to see up closer if I wanna add blush back. Mm, it did pick up the blush some. Couldn't tell, like I have a further away mirror because it's the only way I can see my screen. And in that mirror, it's a little bit harder to tell. Just tapping some blush back on top. Trying to add some color into the center of my face too. I mean, all three of those products actually worked well together. The Guerlain did pick up some of that blush, but it didn't pick up the coziness. You know, how would you be able to tell it's so sheer? But maybe that's a bonus. It is 11.46. I am going to finish my makeup, which is eyebrows, mascara. I don't know what I want to do for my eye look, so I'm just going to take my time dilly-dallying. We're calling the foundation time 11.45. And I will check in throughout the day if I need to, if something changes or looks interesting. Otherwise, I will likely forget that midday check-in, but I will do a check-in around the 8 to 10 hours of wear mark. Stay tuned. This side, just real quick, this side doesn't look quite as bad as it did going on, but I do think that this side looks significantly better. Just to give you a little bit of perspective on what it looks like when it's not interacting natively with skincare versus when it maybe is so hope hopefully that was helpful i will see you so in a few it hours. is four o'clock which means that this has been on for about four four and a half hours and i wanted to check in because i actually do think that it is looking better than it, it was when i was complaining this morning so i just kind of wanted to show you the way it's settled into my skin even on the side this was the side that was like looking worse and it even looks better on this side if we look up close, like you can see some texture right here. But overall, I think it looks significantly better. So normally I don't touch up my makeup just in general, but today I actually did. My eyes will not stop watering. You can see in the corners, just will not stop watering. And I, I don't know why. So I did actually like touch up my concealer and powder because it had made my mascara transfer and it just kind of all wore away. So I did do that, but I didn't touch like the majority of my face. So full disclosure there. I will check in again, um, probably somewhere around 9 p.m. plus or minus a couple. So see you in a few hours. Anyway, final check-in on the Kosas BB Burst. It is like 10, 10 p.m. and I almost forgot. So I'm in my pajamas already. And I was about to wash my face and then I remembered I was doing this. So anyway, I actually think it looks really good. So I was so cranky this morning, but this is kind of what I mean. Like, it just feels like it's finicky when it goes on, but it does look nice. Like, I think it looks nice. My blush is still there, all of that. It's just hard when it feels like I have to be careful at the beginning of the day to ensure that it stays looking good all day because it does look good. I think my skin looks hydrated and healthy and... I don't think it wore too bad. Let me grab a mirror just real quick and see if there's anything up close I need to show you. Not really. There's taco residue around here. That's a me me problem. And yeah, I mean, in the texture on my chin you can see, but the texture on my chin has been really bad lately. So, so far nothing's really like hidden it by the end of the day, but I don't think it's emphasizing it, you know, from back here. You're not really noticing it. It's just kind of up close if you're really being particular. So overall, wears well. Kind of finicky. Is it worth $38? Uh, is, it wor is it better than other things you could get that work easier? That's kind of the thing. If you're like a diehard Kosas fan, if you have more normal skin, um, it actually might work. So I have very dry skin. And I've seen other people be like, ah, oh, I don't know if oily skin people would like this. 
but as a very dry skinned person who needs a lot of skincare under most things, this isn't enough on its own. So that might also, I obviously can't speak to other experiences. I would watch other reviews, but if you're very, very dry, you may have a hard time getting enough with this underneath it for it to all work together well. Whereas if you're more normal skin, like you probably don't need as much skincare for your skin to look nice and be hydrated and that might kind of even out your experience with this. So there's that as well. Hopefully this was helpful. See you in the next one. Good night.